Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Damien's Reviews. And to wrap up the conclusion of the Natty Seltzer series, I did a review earlier of the other Natty Light Seltzer, which I was not impressed with. I gave it a C-. So let's see if it can be redeemed with the Natty Light Seltzer. Aloha Beaches, when mango and peaches go beach mode. Alright, this was introduced in 2019. It was to compete with like um, fruity malt beverage drinks and also for like summer drinks, is like what this kind of stuff is. So I also remember what the ingredients could potentially be, and I'm not going to go over it in this video. If you want to check it out, watch my other nat Natural Light Seltzer video. So I'm going to try this one out. I was not really impressed with the other one, but let's see. I like mango, I like peach, so let's see. Alright. Much more pleasant aroma with this one. So, it's always in the big mug, these 25 ounce cans. Oh yeah, you can just smell the peach and mango coming out of there. It's clear. Yeah, looks like sparkling water. There is absolutely no color to this whatsoever. Crystal clear with a lot of carbonation. So let's see. Oh yeah. Smells like peaches and mangoes, alright. Smells like those like gummy peach rings you get at the dollar store at a gas station. I mean, the other one was just really kind of boring and dull. Let's see if it can be redeemed with this one. Yeah, I mean, it smells appealing, so let's see. Cheers. Okay. All right. So right off the bat, a lot more carbonation and prickly mouthfeel. So that's a good sign. And I am also detecting definitely a lot of peach and mango flavor. Yeah, it just tastes like those gummy peach rings that you would get at a gas station or like at the dollar store or a grocery store in the candy aisle for like a dollar or two. Yeah, prickly mouthfeel. A lot of peach, a lot of mango flavor. Definitely a lot more flavor with this one. Really impressed with this one, so much better as compared to the other one. So, this one actually has a crispness to it, and there's also a really good amount of refreshingness to it, so I'm shocked. Yeah, peach and mango comes in about the middle, and then towards the end, it just kind of fades away to just prickly carbonation. So, you know, definitely much better. The mouthfeel is light and watery. So, how would I rate this one? Well, it's not flat, which is good. It has a nice, crisp refreshingness to it. Actually, has body, has some flavor. You know. This one, since I like peach and mango, I'm going to give this one a 90 out of 100. I'm going to give this one a solid B+. It's very good. You can even argue even marginally excellent. So, yeah, I definitely like this one a lot better. And this one is definitely worth a try. So if you see it, you know, pick it up, try it. Yeah, it might be... Out of the freshness date, because when was the uh, when was the freshness date on this one? Sorry. 2-21-19. Well, that's the born on date. So which means, you know, 
a freshness date would have been towards like December, early January, somewhere in that area, I would say. So yeah, definitely, I'm much more impressed with this one. So yeah, that's my review. If you want to check out the other one, the link will not be in the description. You can just go onto my channel and go to the videos and just click the previous video as compared to this one. So, as always, you all have an excellent one and cheers.